the federal government said yesterday it has evaluated claims by local researchers that they have manufactured curative drugs for COVID-19. It explained that having met preliminary requirements, the drugs had been forwarded to the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAC, for listing. National Coordinator of the Presidential Task Force for COVID-19, Dr. Sani Alau, had restated the federal government's position on Wednesday that no cure had been found for the disease. The government also expressed worries over the continued repatriation of Omagiri by states, saying the development could fuel a spike in infections. On compliance with general safety protocols put in place against the virus, the federal government asked security agencies not to cut corners, adding that they would only be tarnishing the image of their organization by doing that. It also urged Nigerians to alert the authorities whenever they witnessed cases of infractions by security operatives enforcing the partial lockdown. These were some of the points raised at the daily briefing of the Presidential Task Force, PTF, on COVID-19 in Abuja, yesterday. Local Cure Chairman of the PTF and Secretary to the Government of the Federation SGF, Mr. Boss Mustafa said local cure claims had now been forwarded to NAFDAC for listing, having met with preliminary requirements. He said, for some time now, there have been claims of inventions and cures related to COVID-19. The PTF, as part of its mandate, remains supportive of and receptive to outcomes of research. It, however, finds it imperative to reiterate its position on the need for such discoveries to undergo the scientific validation processes. The PTF is aware that the Complementary and Alternative Medicine Department of the Federal Ministry of Health has been evaluating such claims and forwarded some that have met the preliminary requirements to the National Agency for Food and Drugs Administration and Control, NAFDAC, to carry out the necessary procedures for listing. The SGF also expressed displeasure at the continued non-compliance with safety measures put in place by the government. He said, reports from various parts of the country at the close of day yesterday May 6, 2020 Wednesday indicate the following, high level of non-compliance with the ban on interstate travels. This resulted in a high number of vehicles finding their way across many state borders, despite the curfew-slash-border restrictions. Lack of respect for timing and the curfew also resulted in heavy traffic gridlock where many motorists spent the night, following the enforcement of the curfew. Increasing level of abuse of exemption granted to vehicles conveying specified goods. Reports from across the country show that they continue to hide passengers with the intention of ferrying them across state boundaries. Continual transportation of all majorists across state borders is still evident. I have highlighted the foregoing as it relates to the road transportation sector to underscore the dangers inherent in the seeding of the virus across states. The PTF has become aware of a number of challenges associated with management of the isolation centers. These have manifested in the form of protests over welfare, abscondment from centers and loud complaints based on the assumption by persons under observation, that drugs must be administered. The first two are unhealthy developments capable of undermining the containment measures and putting the lives of care managers and frontline workers at risk. Similarly, persons in isolation are encouraged to follow the direction and instructions of the experts during their stay as treatment to be administered would largely depend on the evaluation of the doctor. We, however, urge all state governments to continue to pay attention to the welfare of people in isolation and for security agencies to provide adequate security around such facilities to prevent escape. In his presentation, Minister of Health, Dr. Osegi Hanayer, said his ministry had just finished a meeting with the Ministry of Science and Technology which demonstrated impressive innovative capabilities to participate in finding solutions to problems of shortages. In the letter, the ministry noted that Nigeria is blessed with medicinal plants which could be exploited and expressed happiness that its traditional, complementary, and alternative medicine department, TCAM, 
has taken the pains to research into scientific materials to come up with a formulation intended for the management of cough in COVID-19 and other cough-related infections. The letter, signed by the permanent secretary in the ministry, A.M. Abdullahi Reed, this is to convey my compliments to you. As you are aware, the COVID-19 pandemic is currently ravaging the world, with no definite treatment or vaccine. This has necessitated countries to look for solution from within and Nigeria is no exception. It is worthy to note that Nigeria is blessed with medicinal plants which could be exploited.